Hello pretties, welcome to Epsara. I think the camera's a little twisted, there you go. Um, welcome to Epsara. So today I have my one week one palette and last week we did the uh, Yes Please, I was about to say cute AF, <laughs> from Colourpop. This is what the palette looks like. I will say though, I didn't use this nearly as much as I should have and that's because all the times I was just running late for work, which again, what's new, I'm working on it, okay, I really am. But that being said, surprisingly, like, the shade that I wanted to use and I just didn't get a chance to was this yellow right here because when I think of fall, I always think of yellow, not orange, but yellow. And so personally, the shade that I used a lot more than I thought it was this like rosy bronze shade right here or like pinky rose bronze. I really enjoyed that one. Um, but overall, I liked it. It was a good time. I didn't play with the oranges at all, I don't think. I do like this peach shades right here though, but overall, I had a good time. Editing me, do your job. You guys should have just seen some photos. Um, I didn't take nearly as many photos as I should have. As again, I've been slacking, like just overall. But for my next palette, I decided to pick it from the same video. I did a video a couple weeks ago, which was um, like older palettes that inspire me, that inspire me this fall. By the way, if it's a little dark, we've had our full our first cold front here in Texas or here in Austin, Texas, and it came with the rainstorm, I guess. Like it came with rain, <laughs> so it's been a little gloomy all day, and I say cold sore, um, cold front because it's it's 68 degrees, <laughs> which is a cold front for us. <laughs> That's pathetic, but it feels so nice outside. Oh my god, it feels so nice. Anyway, I decided to pick the Jaclyn Hill palette. I think this is the first effect transition shade to go into the fall. I just love this palette. Um, there's so many different color stories that you can do. And although I would traditionally do something more warm toned, um, I am actually want to do a cool tone look today. And I'm debating if I, like, I don't know if I want this one to be my main shade or if I want this one right here to be my main shade. But I'm looking for something a little bit more cool toned. So I'm thinking, put this one on the crease, deepen it up a little bit with this brown right here, then maybe go with a little bit of the black and then put this all over the lid. But that's what I'm thinking. Let's let's see what the look takes us. Cause there's something about this shade right here that is so nice. It's very like grayish, purplish, but I just don't feel like it's the vibe today. Obviously my makeup is very warm. Again, I was running late for work. <laughs> so I didn't have time to do any eyeshadow today. Um, and my face is obviously very warm toned. My pants are like yellowish, like a yellowish pet black pattern. Um, so I figured I'd just do like a warm toned look and just make my lips pop a little bit. That being said, I haven't set my eyelids. So I did put primer on already, so I'm just gonna set my eyelids since we're here. I do already have mascara on, so I'm not really sure how that's going to affect the whole shebang, but I already have mascara on, and it's been on for hours, and it's starting to like droop down. It just won't stay up. Ugh. I wish I had like eyebrows that like naturally go up. I'm so jealous of those people. Good for you. That's all I can say. Okay, so I'm going to go with that first shade that I have mentioned, because it it's like a slightly pinky, cool toned shade. So I feel like if you're looking to start something out, that's a good shade. It is a little light for my skin tone, but it's just enough where you can actually see a little bit of color right here. I will say though, this palette is getting older in my collection. So I feel like if I don't get a lot more use out of it, it's gonna eventually go bad. And I know that the new palette or the redone version of this one does not have the same formula. I'm honestly not even sure if I have the correct formula, although I did buy mine in 2018, I think it was, or 2017. I, I don't know if I have the original formula or the new formula, and I mean, I guess I could look through the ingredients and figure it out, but I don't wanna, <laughs> it's too much work. Um, regardless, I do like the formula, I just, I don't, Think I would repurchase this palette anymore and for a long time I thought that I would every year I do a video that's called like would I repurchase my eyeshadow collection and for hold on a second guys I can't find it all right never mind it's not worth it for many years 
I the first couple of times that I did that that I filmed that video, I'm going with that deep brow now. I'm just gonna put it in the other corner. I said that I would repurchase this palette because I think it's a really good palette, and I still do think it's a really good palette. But mm -hmm. there is quite a few repeat shades now, especially mm -hmm. there's a lot of shades that I know I can find mm -hmm. in other parts of my collection. There's mm -hmm. some a lot of shades though that I can't. Mm -hmm. But that being said, I just mm -hmm. I just don't feel like I need this palette anymore. Like if I were to lose it, then that's you know we had a good run. Um, I I do like it though. I, I think it's a good palette. I have not given it enough love. So, we're gonna give it some love this time. I think I am gonna go with that black because I want it to look a little bit more cool toned than what it is right now. So, that's it. Um, I finally, finally put all my clean brushes back in the room because they were in my bathroom for like a week and a half, maybe two weeks almost. I'm just, I don't know what it is. Like, I have, like, no energy. I've been so lazy lately. Is it just me? Like, is it, like, summer coming to an end that's causing this? I honestly don't know. I just had had no interest in anything. Um, okay, I'm going to go with that. I think I am going to go with that black. And I'm going to do exactly what I said I was going to do. But I want it, I don't know. Do I want it to be more like an eyeliner? Do I want it to be all in the outer corner? I think I'm gonna do both because <laughs> I kind of already started with the eyeliner so I might as well complete it and I know it's messy but it's okay because it's gonna get covered up by the shimmer shade anyway so it doesn't matter just kind of put this more in the outer corner bam then go back with the other shade and blend it up I will say though this is looking a lot warmer than I wanted it to look I really wanted it to look quite cold toned cool toned can you guys hear my dogs so yeah they're they're here <laughs> i left them outside except for zeus but zeus is so chill he's not like the other girls like the the girls will jump on my chair they'll kick me in the back while trying to make themselves comfortable they'll scream <laughs> they'll do all kinds of things but zeus zeus just here for the ride i lost track of my hand placement I like like slipped and now this eye is like all over the place <laughs> oh gosh these little things are so tiny so whenever I wash my brushes I make sure to not put them in my little like container of brushes and then leave them to the side until I use it and then I put them back in because otherwise I will not see them it's that simple that is not having the impact that I wanted it to have. So, yeah, that's not looking the way I wanted it to. I'm just gonna match it on the other side just so it doesn't look completely different. But I think I am gonna go. So, this is the. I think it's called Smoky But Natural. Oh no, this is Obsessed. Smoky But Natural is the next one. I think I'm gonna go with that other shade, this one right here. Because, again, it was a little too light. Oh, gosh. This one does look a little more cool-toned. You know, it actually reminds me a little bit of that shade from the Dream Palette. Oh, no, never mind. This is definitely way more gray. Okay. There's a little bit of, like, pinky to it. Look, lavender. I will say that these shimmers are still soft. <laughs> they feel so nice and buttery. Okay, that, that feels good. That feels nice. Okay. Where is... There you go. A little paper towel to wipe my finger. Okay, and now to blend the outer corners. Blend, blend, blend. And the inner corners. Okay, that does not look bad. And now I'm going to grab a little bit of that black... Just put it in the outer corner. Oh, that's a little bit more intense than I wanted it to be. I, in retrospect, I probably should have gone with the brown. Lessons learned. Okay, I'm trying my best not to make weird faces. Oh, it went in my eye. Oh God, it went in my eye. 
Okay, we're good. We're, we're fine. But it definitely went in my eye. Oh, that's gross. Okay. Last thing. I just gotta do a little bit of the highlight. Ew. Okay. And I just grabbed the second shade on the top row. Because this is supposed to be like the cool tone. I will say, I said it then and I said it now. This is the one thing where this palette did wrong. It did not need two pearl shades right here. If one of them could have been matte, it would have been so much better. But whatever. Anyway, this is the final look. What do you guys think? Am I a little too close? I think I am. But hopefully you guys like it. I'm... I like it. It's a little messier than I wanted it to. Definitely does not go with this lip color combination, but overall, I like it. I really do like this palette, so I'm excited to play with it the next couple weeks. I'm going to try my best to like take photos, but like, if I don't, don't judge me. Alright, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, the sun's coming out. Bye, guys.